I must confess to being furious. To think that there are still some of you who find it permissible to spit upon our rules. Remember their names. Fasal and Avis. They've betrayed you, betrayed us. And today you will see with your own eyes what'll happen to those who betray our cause. Go on, Avis. Pierce his skull with the thorn in your hands, and then push in the Aqua Dolores. Of course, you will do it one drop at a time. Let it do its magic again and again, and don't stop until you've pushed all of it in. This all... I'm sorry. It... it's okay. I'll... find a way to endure. Oh, shut your wretched mouths! When did I give you permission to speak? My rules are the paramount law of this place! Only more pain will come to those who dare to disobey! That's enough, Dugier. Your rabid screams have been beyond nauseating. <gasps> Is that... His Grace? Oh, Risley. I knew you would come, but I didn't expect you to be so quick. Must you still refuse to let me be? Did I not spell everything out for you already? What's so blasphemous about sharing a slice of the cake with me when you've already got the entire fortress at your feet? It would seem that you can't see the difference between sharing and looting. And on top of that, look at your people. Are they not starving as you wolf down your cake? You, stop acting all high and mighty like some hero of justice. Have you forgotten? Nobody in this blasted fortress is innocent. We are all irredeemable monsters who have destroyed something that others held dear. What's so wrong about punishing those who deserve to be punished? It's what they've always deserved. And please, are you really gonna tell me that you care about their lives and well-being when you just need a supply of labor to keep this place running? Is it that all you need to keep your cushy life? Sadly, you're wrong on both counts. Unlike you, I've never seen them as currency. The fortress is not only a place for confinement, but also a place for rebirth. Just as people are free to give in to the darkness within their hearts, they are also free to seek redemption and a new beginning. Our bodies have limits, but our spirits will always remain free. They may have made mistakes, but they are still human beings with people and things that they cherish. And most importantly, they should always retain the freedom to choose their own path once they've reflected on their past misdeeds. But you, you're destroying their spirits with fear, taking their freedom away so that they'll become slaves who will never again feel or think. And you say that's what they've always deserved? You are nothing compared to them. He... he's really mad. You think me arrogant, Risley. Well, I think you're too young and naive. You understand nothing of this world. Nobody actually sees this fortress as any kind of just a wonderful place. See it for what it is. A dumping ground of pain and misery, irredeemable now and irredeemable forever! No prisoner will listen to you out of gratitude of their hearts. The whip is the only way to make them obey. Had you been just one step slower, I would have already taken control of all the garden mechs in this place. Your vision gives you strength. But how long will it hold against these powerful constructs? <laughs> you talk big, but in the end, you know nothing outside of power and control. In that case, let me give you a small taste of what real power looks like. If 
If you think fear can control everything, well then, terrify me. Don't high road me! You're just another crook! And it's time he got treated like one! <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Too scared to shoot straight? I, I warned you! Unauthorized punishment and torture are prohibited here! As to do, you should set an example! Funny how that slipped my mind. Well, from this point on, you can forget about that rule. The rules of the fortress are there to keep the likes of you in check. But if the Duke wants somebody dead, he needs no justification. Understood? Uh -huh.